Alexis Senji, CEO and co-founder of Kenya Kapaya Products Limited. It's a company founded in 2017, and we are three directors. And uh, I'm an industrial chemist by profession. The other one is uh, an administrator, as well as a third director being a finance uh, an accountant by profession. So what we do at Kenya Papaya is we are agro-processors who are focused on the papaya value chain. We have our farmers organized in production clusters, and in these clusters, they are trained on good agricultural practices. Then the same classes form collection centers where we come collect, then we produce eight SKUs and the, the, the flagship product is a papaya jam. Papaya jam is a blend, a very unique blend of this superfood and a Ganoderma mushroom extract. This mushroom is an immune booster. So when we put them together, we have actually managed to secure a patent for, for the, the, the papaya jam. So going forward, I'm going to talk about uh, my life, uh, uh, becoming an entrepreneur. And uh, why I chose to become an entrepreneur? I actually think uh, it chose me. And that's because of my, my character and just majorly focusing on the way I look at things. I look at them from a different perspective. Most of the time, even in my conversation, I find myself looking at things differently. And that's how I looked at my profession, my, my training, my background. And uh, what is out there and I felt even in my attachments, industrial attachments, there was no challenge. I just felt there was monotony, repetition. And so I decided to, to choose the less taken path. And I, here I am. I combine my knowledge with my training along the way because they say uh, before you invest in a business, you should invest in yourself. So that is exactly what I did. And uh, uh, here I am as a CEO of a, a startup company. So I would say, well, for the main characteristics I would really say an entrepreneur should have is uh, first off, you should be very innovative. You must be innovative to come up with a solution that will distinguish you from the rest of, of the pack. You must be different from a business person because a business person can do practically anything. An entrepreneur does something that nobody else can do or whatever he does or she does is in a totally different way. Then you must be tenacious because without tenacity, you will easily give up along the way. You will feel discouraged. Okay, let's not kid ourselves because entrepreneurship is a roller coaster. Today you're happy, tomorrow you're sad, today you you feel like you've arrived, tomorrow you're totally disappointed, if you, you even question because there are doubts. You you ask yourself and wonder whether you're in the wrong, wrong or the right path. But uh, just from uh, the comments, the interaction with other entrepreneurs, you get to realize that you're actually on the right path. Then most importantly, you must have emotional intelligence because without emotional intelligence, you're bound to jump into conclusions, you're bound to fire employees before you understand what the, 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 the learning curve is. You're bound to make really costly decisions. So as an entrepreneur, it's really critical to have those three, three characteristics and you should not ever, ever think of making things to appear that they're easy uh, to, to, to other people. And it's also important to be really humble um, over the years, what I've really learned as an entrepreneur is that if you're really looking for something, you will definitely get it. You must get it, people. Whether it's the source of raw materials, because I tend to tell this particular item is not available. This MOQ cannot, you cannot meet the, the, the amount to, to raise for that. But with collaboration with other entrepreneurs, you, as SMEs attempt, you come together to get something. So collaborative efforts are really important in, in the progress so that you can match up with the big boys in, in, in the industries. And also, it's really important to do your research. You must learn every day because there's no monopoly of knowledge. And even when you think you're an expert, you must put in the work. You must make sure that you learn something every day to better your business. You have to research. You have to improve your processes, you will have to find cost-cutting measures that will not compromise on your quality. So it is something that, it's a journey and that journey needs brings into uh, something else. The starting process of my business, there was a lot of trainings I attended. I learned a lot. I have worked under mentors and I have 
learn from coaches and incubation programs, especially if for impact has made the business really turn around. We've had a revenue we jump by 1,081%, which is pretty commendable. And it's really important to take in what you, you learn from this uh, these programs because that's how you can really grow because uh, without that, they also affect you because you need to learn because there's no, no stagnation, it's either growth or death.